kind of looking like this. This is how to climb every single kind of fence that there is. We're gonna go in increments. So we're gonna start off with this video easy, medium, and then hard, which is of course barbed wire, super tall, pointy fences, stuff like that. Everybody's been asking for them, so they're coming at you. Wow. And you will see vaults in this video, like you saw in my previous video, the top five fence vaults, but that's just because I'm gonna be going over every vault that I find the most efficient. Keep in mind, like everything else in this world, it will take practice to become good at. I've practiced parkour for three years, and experience overcomes everything. And we're gonna start off with this rail style wooden fence here. And I decided that the speed vault would actually be the fastest one for this one. Using the side safety and speed as a bit of a progression to this. And this fence is approximately four feet high. And I'm, for reference for all the rest of this video, I'm actually five foot 10. I highly recommend watching my other top five vaults video because I'm gonna be going over those a little bit in this one, but not very in depth. Start off with the side vault for this one. And that's kind of a nice safe progression to the next vaults where you can kind of put your hands onto it, move your body over to the side, nice and easy, comfortable. And then we're gonna move on to the safety vault next, which of course is putting your one hand up to the opposite foot and then bring your foot through the needle that you've created over the vents. And then next we're gonna move on to, what was that? And then next we're gonna move on to the speed vault, which is the most flashy and efficient way to get over a fence if it is within your range, of course. I choose the speed vault on this style of fence because this fence is only four feet high. That's pretty low compared to other style of fences. So I would have to say that using the speed vault is definitely the most efficient. Of course, this will vary based on the, like the structural integrity of the fence, your run up, how secure the actual board is on top that you're using, because if it's kind of small, then this probably wouldn't be the vault, but just depending, of course. So that'll lead us to the next vault, which is the gate vault. And we're gonna be using, of course, the gate vaults for this one. Four foot high, once again, for this. You can kind of progress to it by putting your foot up against the object. Get a little bit higher if that makes you feel more comfortable. One hand on, and then the other hand kind of reaches over as you go up and over, and then you kind of flip around it at the same time. This one is practical and efficient. It works for basically any situation, but gates, of course, being the most effective because there's not really too many vaults you'd want to use with this one because it kind of shakes it moves back and forth and that can kind of cause difficulty as you get up and over i did go over this in my previous video but once again i'm using a gate rather than a chain link fence so it's a little bit different one thing that i didn't say in the other video which i probably should have included but i guess you learn it as you go is you definitely want to watch the ab area because as you put your stomach up and over it as leverage you can hurt it a little bit, just as I kind of got some red marks. Doesn't really hurt, just kind of irritates the skin as you can tell. And so that is gonna bring us to our next type of fence, which is going to be a horse fence variation. But this one's just kind of like a scraggly wire type, so I'm gonna call it the scraggly fence. And it's gonna be around four foot high, generally speaking too. You can't place your hands anywhere because there's no general support for your hands to actually go. And the supports that are there are kind of you know shifty you don't really want to place your hands so it's going to be a different type of vault that we're going to use for this one and we're not actually going to use a vault at all for this type of fence because like i said nowhere to place your hands so what we're actually going to do is a dive roll um, prerequisites of course is the parkour roll know how to use that i would imagine you'd want to know how to do that before diving into it but literally it's just a regular parkour roll and you're just going to dive into that you want to jump up and then over kind of hit these hands first and then take that roll diagonally across your body. A little water spin for you, free of charge. And I actually did go over the parkour roll a little bit in my other video, top five parkour moves everybody should know. Diagonally across the body, get used to that motion. And then that brings us to our last fence, which is going to be a horse fence variant again. But before I get into this vault, I just want to say a thanks to our sponsor Squarespace. Just kidding, we, I don't, I don't have any sponsors. Squarespace, Nike, anybody, literally anybody, hit me up. <laughs> Back to the video from our non-sponsored segment. Start it up. So this one's actually four foot seven inches, so it's actually 
quite high. I mean, this one was actually a bit of a challenge, so I took it personally to make sure I could figure it out for you guys, kind of break it down and figure out how we're gonna do this. And this one, I know I said that this is gonna be like an easy difficulty, but I would actually put this fence at a medium to high difficulty, so it's kind of sneaking in this video here. That time lapse was actually of me trying to figure out how to get over it. So it did take me a little while to figure it out, and I actually used the one support to get up and over using a style of reverse vault. And then after that, I actually turned it into a speed vault. I tried to use both hands, but I could only use the one to feel safe and comfortable. I actually did mess up here. It's easy to look at something and see it as super intimidating. Using a speed vault variant, one hand up, and I kind of had to jump and then push as well at the same time. So jump to push and then get that leg up and over and then swing through. And then I kind of put my own little spin on it, make it a little easier, make it a little more flashy, I guess you could even say. You just gotta watch out for that fear factor. It might look like it's super scary, super intimidating, that you can't do it, but don't say that. Go up to it, give it a try, and see how it feels. Have fun with this one, kind of walk up to it, get creative. It's a, It might look intimidating, but like I said, just kind of figure it out. There's so many different ways, uh, different vaults that you can use variations of it. I have the experience, I guess, so I can kind of relay that to everybody else and show what actually is possible and not. Like I said, I'm 5'10", 5 5'10". 5 like I said, I'm 5'10", and this fence is 4'7", so I'm basically a foot over it. So that's, it's high. And that's gonna have to lead us to the end of the video. That's the last on how to climb these fences. More videos coming to you soon on the next fences. If you wanna learn more, check out, check out my other videos on how to do this. There is beer bottle broken right there and that is where I am doing this skit and I just noticed